Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Living the Life Show. I'm your host, Columbus Cody. I thank you for tuning in today. Now, remember, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m., I come to you to offer a little dose of encouragement. And I pray that you will join me every morning, okay? I got a good one for you today. You're going to have to help me out on this one. Check this out. It says, we are living in a time where Satan doesn't even hide anymore and the world still can't see him. Mm. Check out today's verse. This is Isaiah 5 and 20. And it says, woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those. Woe is a warning, warning you. Be very careful here. If you call evil good and good evil. All right. Now think about this. I'm watching a ball game yesterday. And while watching a game, it goes to commercial and the commercial for this new movie comes out. And it's a scary movie. It's a horror movie. It's a demonic movie. I don't watch movies like that. They scare me. All right. Help me out, guys. In the comments, let me know. Why do you think people like the demonic movies? Because it baffles me. How did we get to a point where we celebrate the new devil movie, the new demonic movie, the new uh, spirits and goblins and ghouls movie? How did we get to this point where that is something we look forward to versus avoid? Woe to those that call evil good and good evil. OK, now, if you like scary movies, I'm not judging you. I'm not throwing you under the bus. I literally don't understand it. Help me understand. Let me know in the comments what you think. Why do people like these kind of movies? OK, is it just me? Because a few years ago, when I watched The Exorcist, when I say few, it's been a long time. I won't lie to y'all. It scared your boy. I was scared. I I almost didn't get up and go to the bathroom that night because I was scared to get out of the bed. I'm being honest with you. Those movies scare me. Why do people like them? Why is it that the devil can be right in front of our face and we don't see him? He's right in our movies and we applaud him. He's in all of our music and we applaud him. Man, that new, mu that new song is the bomb. But what are they talking about? They're talking about killing. They're talking about sex. They're talking about drugs. And it's glorifying all of it. The devil is so good. He's so shrewd that he doesn't even have to hide. He can just blatantly put it in front of us and we'll gobble it up and call it good. We have to be careful, right? We are being brainwashed by the enemy without realizing it. He's putting it before us with the agendas and the ideas without us realizing he is slowly moving us further and further away from the Lord. If you've ever heard of the book, The Screw Tape Letters, I highly recommend if you haven't heard it, check it out. I listened to it while driving back and forth to work. Great book. OK, I think C.S. Lewis wrote The Screw Tape Letters. And the idea behind this book was that it was a uncle who was a demon who was retiring and he was training his nephew on how to be a better demon. See, all of us, according to the book, uh, it's fiction, but all of us have one demon that's prescribed to us. Everybody has their own demon that's de that their job is to derail us and to get us off the path God has called us to. So the demon's job is to put us in positions and present things to us to keep us distracted and to get us off track. And one of the things I've never forgotten it is that the, the uncle's uncle screw tape explained to his nephew that you can't blatantly let sin be seen as sin. It has to be subtly shown so that it's something that they want. It's something that we desire and we don't realize that it's sin and that it's leading us away from God. But according to this post, we know it's sin. We know it's wrong. We know it's of the enemy, and yet we still move. That's a scary state to be in. And I'm praying for you that if you have your eyes closed to these things, that God will open your eyes and show you this is not me. This is the devil trying to distort your relationship with you. 
And I pray that you will have enough within you to say, Lord, give me the strength to get rid of this, to not want this in my life anymore, because I don't want anything that's going to interrupt my walk with you. All right. Again, I pray that this encourages you like it encouraged me. I pray that you enjoyed today's post. Make sure you leave me a comment and let me know why do people love the demonic movies? One of y'all are probably going to help me understand. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you tomorrow. Watch it, share it, and live it. Now let's get busy living the life. God bless you.